Well, hey, Kids Life. Good to see you this morning. Hey, we're going to start with a coin toss this morning. Have you ever done that? Just tossed a coin up in the air and then called it heads or tails and see if see if you were right. Well, how about let's do that this morning. Are you ready? Heads or tails? You call it? Heads or tails? Ah, it's heads. How many of you called heads? Well, way to go. You were on the money. What? <laughs> on the money. How about that? Well, hey, Sometimes we don't know how things are going to land. Sometimes we can't call the circumstances in our life. We can't call it. And sometimes we can't discern the heads or the tails of it. But there's one thing that is for sure, and it's actually even printed on our money, and it is in, in God we trust. In God we trust. Printed right there on our money to remind us that, you know what, we don't trust in things. We don't trust in what our money can buy, but our source our provision um, comes from, comes from, comes from God, that in him we can trust. You know, we've already learned in our series that God created the whole world and everything in it. And when he created the world, he spoke it from the words of his mouth. And so we are literally, our world is literally still hanging tight and true on the word of his mouth. Which reminds us that if God speaks a word, it's going to hold true for you too, and we can trust it. And so we left off last week with Abram, who is now Abraham, as now his name has been extended. It's been changed and expanded from Abram to Abraham, perhaps marking the fact that he is, his family is expanding, just furthering, affirming that promise that God has given Abraham, that he's going to have a great family. Remember last week, God had taken him outside and said, I want you to look at the stars in the sky and I want you to be able to count them. Can you count them? That's how grand and vast and big your family is going to be. And yet today we find in our story that so many years have passed and so much has happened with Abraham and with Sarah that perhaps Abraham has found himself in a place of wondering, did I, did I misunderstand God? Was the whole thing about the stars was, was that a metaphor for something? Did I misunderstand? Because I am well past the age of being able to have children. Did I misunderstand? Well, here's a heads up. Nope, he did not misunderstand at all. If God said it, we can take it to the bank. We can trust it. We can trust it. We can camp out on his promises. So today we're going to continue our journey with Abraham and Sarah and their camping trip. So um, will you join me? Are you ready? Let's continue on our adventure with Abraham and Sarah and to know that in God we trust. In God, Abraham trusted. In God, Sarah trusted. And in God, we too can trust. <music> to Abraham. At this time, Abraham was sitting at the door of his tent, and it was during the hottest part of the day. But then he looked up, and he saw three men standing near him. And when Abraham saw them, he ran from his tent to meet them, and he bowed face down to the ground in honor before them. And Abraham said, he said, hey guys, why don't you stay with me a while? I'll, I'll be your servant. I'll even get you some water and I'll go grab some food for you and you can regain your strength. Then you can continue on in your journey. Hey guys, come on in, have a seat. Take a load off. I'll be back. Now Abraham hurried to the tent where Sarah was. And he said to her, Hey, Sarah, can I have a three Happy Meals to go for a friend? All right, sweet. Thank you. So Abraham, being such the good host, he came to the three men and he gave them something to eat. And while the three men ate, he stood under the tree near them. And the men asked Abraham, Where is your wife, Sarah? She's in the tent. And then the Lord said, Set an appointment 
For this time next year. Next year? Yes, for you will have a son. Alright. A son next? Alright, I'll put it in my calendar. Man, you must be hungry. Well, I'm eating for three of us. Good point. Now Sarah was listening at the entrance of the tent while God and the visitors and Abraham were talking about this son that she was scheduled to have this time next year. Now Abraham and Sarah, they were well beyond the years of being able to have children. So when she heard this, she laughed. Well, Sarah, actually, actually, she didn't laugh out loud. She actually laughed to herself. But the Lord being the Lord and all, he knew. And he said to Abraham, hey, why did Sarah laugh? Why did she say, you too old to have a baby? I mean, is anything too hard for the Lord? Nope, nope, nope. Well, the Lord said, well, I'll see you next year, and Sarah is going to have that son. Now, Abraham was 100 years old when Isaac was born. Happy birthday, Abraham. Say, hey, Abraham, I told you it would happen. I told you. I knew I could trust him. Well, Kids Life, what about you? Have you ever had to wait on something for a really, really, really long time? Let's say, what about Christmas? You know, Christmas comes one day a year, so we have to wait 364 more days for Christmas to come again. Well, is it, is it coming this year? Do you think it is? Well, sure it is. We trust it is. Why? Because number one, it's on the calendar. It's marked on the calendar, so we can trust it. And because we've experienced it before. Well, Christmas happened last year, and it happened the year before that, and the year before that. We can trust that Christmas is coming again this year. Well, God, his love and his promises are the same way. God's promises, you know what? They are marked on his calendar. It's appointed. It's set. Just like it was with Abraham. Remember, today in our lesson, God told Abraham, he said, by this time next year, you're going to have a son. You can, you can mark it on your calendar. And we can trust that. We can trust that just like God's promises, they are marked on his calendar. It's going to come just like Christmas is coming. Which, by the way, is 159 days away. And, and speaking of Christmas, you know, Jesus, you know, the reason we celebrate Christmas, Jesus was also a baby of promise. Jesus also was a miracle birth, just like, just like Sarah and she having a baby. Wow, that's incredible. You know what's even more incredible than that? Is that when you look in Matthew, when you look at that first book in um, the New Testament, it lists out the family of Jesus. And you know whose family Jesus is in? Abraham's. That's how the whole book of Matthew starts out is the family tree of Abraham and Jesus is listed right there on it. So you know, the craziest part is, is that when we accept Jesus into our heart, not only do we become part of Jesus' family, but we become part of this big promise of being part of Abraham's family. We actually become one of those stars that God had Abraham looking at. We get to be a part of not only the big family of God, but this big promise that he gave to Abraham years and years and years ago. See, the Bible, it's not just a history book. It's not just about history. It's not just about them way back then. It's not just about Abraham or Noah or Adam or Eve. It's really about us. 
and the, the story that God has lined up for us and that he has been preparing from the very beginning for us to be a part of his family. Do you see that? Because see, life, life is not a coin toss. It isn't. It isn't just a chance call in the air. No, no. God has a plan and it will always, always land in the camp of God is good and that he loves us. And you can trust that. You can trust him. You just don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to take the United States Treasury's word for it because it says in there, on in God we trust. You can take his word for it. He's good for it. Even if you have to wait a really, really long time. Even if it sounds impossible. Hey, Christmas isn't that far away. It's only 159 days left. 159 days. It's coming. Joy to the world. Yay. Well, hey, Kids Life, we're going to practice our memory verse today with our friends, Lachlan. Hey, Kids Life. Everybody say hello to Lachlan. Hey, Lachlan. Hey. Hi. Oh, what's up, man? And then there's Eli. He's going to help us out today. Everybody say hello, Eli. Howdy. Howdy. Yes, sir. Well, we're going to practice our memory verse for this series, and it goes like this. Okay, guys, so you can stand up on your feet, guys, at home. You're going to follow Lachlan and Eli as they teach us our verse, and it goes like this. is the word of the Lord. The word, the word of the Lord. Lord. Oh, that's awesome. The word of the Lord. The word the of the Lord. The word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Holds true. Holds true. Holds true. Holds true. Holds true. Holds true. The word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Holds true. Holds true. And you can trust. You can trust. That's it, guys. They're jumping up and down because you know what? You can stand. You can stand and trust his word. So that's what we're talking about. So the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Holds true. Holds true. And you can trust. You can trust. And you can trust. And you can trust. And you can trust. And you can trust. Everything he does. 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 Okay, kids life. Let's all of us do it together. Are you ready? Are you ready over there? We're going to do this. I'm ready. Here we go. The word of the Lord. The word of the Lord holds true. Holds true. And you can trust. And you can trust everything he does. Everything he does. And this is found in Psalm 33:4. So there you go. Ready? Psalm 33:4. Woohoo! Way to go, kids! Good job, Lock. Thanks. Good job, Eli. The word of the Lord holds true. And you can trust everything he does. Psalm 33, four. boom. The word of the Lord holds true, and you can trust everything he does. Psalm 33, four. 